Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Here's the News. We only have three topics for you today, and yes, one of them is another Switch Pro rumor. <laughs> oh, uh, this one's a bit juicy, although, hey, uh, you might want to wrap your whole body in Tone Foil 4, but before we get into that, we got a couple other stories to give. All right, so our first story actually deals with a Nintendo Switch update. Now, you might be wondering, Nate, why the heck are you playing that really, like, dis massively disliked Nintendo Switch online trailer? Well, simply put, that's because this update has to do with online. So, Nintendo just yesterday updated the Nintendo Switch firmware to update 12.0.3. And obviously, we like to scour these updates because we have gotten things like the Bluetooth stuff in the past that still isn't active and could be potentially for a future Switch. So we're always wondering, is there something else packed into this update? Well, Oatmeal Dome actually went through it and discovered that, hey, the only thing that's really in there is exactly what Nintendo claimed it is. It's a stability update, aka it gets rid of one of the bu common bugs that have been happening with online services when you're connecting to Switch online, whether it's in gameplay matches or, or, or whatever. It just fixes one of the common bugs that's been cropping up. So literally, it's a bug fi fix patch. You can argue a security patch if you want. Regardless, you should start to see less errors while you're connecting online. So there you go. That's all it is. I know. I wish it was more exciting than that, but hey, it's good to at least get some maintenance patches like this. And sometimes when Nintendo says this is just a like you know security update, that's exactly what it is. So, alrighty then. Next up, you're seeing up here we got Super Nintendo World. That's right, the theme park in Japan that's been shut down now for the last couple of months after some really big rises in COVID cases out in Japan uh, has now reopened. In fact, the entire Universal Park reopened back on June 1st, and that includes Super Nintendo World. Now, obviously, they are limiting how many people are able to go. You are required to wear masks. But if you are thinking about traveling to Japan and you happen to be able to get there, because international travel is still a bit iffy with COVID, but if you can get to Japan, you will be able to at least hopefully go to uh, Universal Studios uh, there and get a chance to check out Super Nintendo World. Again, Super Nintendo World looks really, really cool to me. I personally, I don't really want to go to Japan just to do this. I know there's other reasons to go to Japan for many of you. It's not actually on one of my bucket list items. And they are making a Super Nintendo World right here in the United States uh, in Orlando, Florida to open up in 2023 or 2024. I definitely plan to go to that one, take my kids to that one. Maybe we'll make a nice vlog about it. We'll see. Definitely we'll at least tweet out or put some Instagram photos out of that stuff. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited to have this back. It's just good to have it. Uh, and it's also good to get into this next story. All right, folks. And for this next story, excuse me for a moment. I need to prepare a little bit. Yeah, we have another Switch Pro rumor. We have some new Switch Pro rumors coming out of Taiwan. Now, this comes from a uh, message board, a forum called Klein.net. I tried doing some research uh, into this. Actually, did I say Taiwan? I meant Korea. Uh, the rumors actually are out of, out of Taiwan and out of Japan, but the forum itself is in Korean. Uh, so I assume it's from Korea, South Korea, North Korea. I have no idea. So somewhere over in that area of the world. Uh, I'm I think I dug into this a little bit uh, and it's hard to really find out where their sources are coming from or what's going on. Again, I don't speak Korean. I'm reliant a lot on Google Translate. I did have um, a translator kind of look at this and they're even kind of confused a little bit. So I'm just going to give you the details. Again, there's a reason we started this off with a bunch of tinfoil. Uh, yeah, this is just well, kind of wild theorizing out there. But you know what? I needed another story for here's the news. I didn't want to just do a two story bit. So uh, we got this one for you guys. Uh, so First off, uh, there's some debate right now. Uh, basically, the Nintendo Switch is either going to be using a Samsung 5 nanometer process for its chip or a TSMC 7 nanometer. NVIDIA apparently has orders in for both for mobile purposes, so we'll have to wait and see uh, which one of those Nintendo is actually using. Uh, and beyond all of that, they mentioned that the GPU can actually run up to 1 gigahertz. Now, this is in handheld or docked mode, I'm not sure which one they don't specify, that is uh, higher than the 768 megahertz it currently maxes out at in docked mode. So it is an increase, a slight one, but an increase. Also what's interesting is they claim that no matter which 
TSMC or Samsung's node they use, it will be using the latest NVIDIA technology. So Ampere, uh, you know, Rocket Lake, whatever. There, there's a bunch of that out there, but the latest and greatest supposedly is what these chips are built on, either one of them that they might put inside the switch. They currently do not know uh, what CPU uh, is being used, although there is a lot of thought process that it might be. It might be that one that's well, let's just say the latest ARM tech architecture. After all, NVIDIA was purchasing ARM, so uh, supposedly it might be using the latest ARM cores. Uh, beyond all of that, here's where you get to some really interesting stuff. So in handheld mode, yeah, 720p is a thing, but it has the capability to run at 120 FPS in handheld mode. Holy crap. Now, they do say it won't actually do that at launch due to some maintenance issues. I don't understand it, but uh, apparently due to some maintenance issues, it will actually be running at 60 FPS at launch, but the capabilities are under the hood for it to run at 120 FPS in handheld mode. There is no mention of it running in 120 FPS in docked mode. But here's another interesting one. So we all know right now the current Switch runs at 1080p while docked or up to 1080p. Obviously, a lot of games don't hit 1080p. Well, the Switch Pro is capable of native 1440p 1440p that's a pretty big leap it makes you think obviously there must be significant increase in ram the cpus must be way better than the current switch and yeah well the gpu bump is just minor it's newer architecture combine that with potential rt cores and other things they could have going on uh you know tensor cores etc get dlss going that's really exciting for the possibilities again this is the first time we've heard anything about potential specs for the switch pro hence why i wanted to talk about it but again tempo i had the hell out of this it's very hard for me to confirm this information coming out of taiwan i definitely am not putting a ton of stock into this being what the specs might be but hey it is fun to talk about it is fun to speculate and you know what i needed a big story to kind of round out this thing in magic today with here's the news now hopefully you guys are enjoying these here's the news episodes a big shout out to switch stop here uh, they are the ones that, you know, I'll put a link down in the description of this as well, that created this um, fake Switch Pro uh, kind of uh, thing, whether you like it, the design concept or not. I really don't care. Uh, I just find this to be highly enjoyable, uh, and I'm just having a good time here as we're getting closer and closer to E3. Now, tonight we do have the Nintendo Prime podcast for you. Unfortunately, our guest Camelot331 has canceled on us. No worries, no beef between us. He actually has a very unique NASCAR uh, opportunity today after he wrecked his Daytona car uh, last week. So he's kind of got this unique opportunity uh, with NASCAR to do the special interview and all this. I'm not going to get too much into it. It's going to appear on his channel. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, but because of that, obviously, we are working on getting a new guest scheduled for tonight. And don't worry, I already have some people in mind. I've already reached out to some people. We're going to have that podcast tonight anyways, even though this is the off night. Usually our podcasts are on Wednesday nights. We were doing it Tuesday because of Camelot. I could push it back to Wednesday, but I've decided to, you know what? I have built my entire week, my entire schedule around having this podcast on Tuesday. So we're going to do it tonight. So hopefully you guys tune in and have a great time. Plus, we have some new stuff to test out with the set that I think you guys are going to find really really intriguing uh that being said thank you so much for all of your support for liking subscribing uh for you know setting yourself up for our e3 video that's right we have our e3 uh day one and day two you can go set up a uh, notification for that right now down in the description and yes folks some people are wondering when are we going to draw people for our contest during the thing where you can play us in smash mario kart platoon etc don't worry we will get some of that stuff drawn today uh and get the people announced once we email and get contact information all that uh, get that all taken care of switch codes exchange we are going to make it happen folks day one we have two smash bros things day two we have mario kart 8 deluxe day three smash again and day four of e3 splatoon 2 for a hundred dollar eShop gift card or 99 dollars so nintendo's weird with the whole hundred dollar thing anyways thank you guys so much for tuning in i am nathaniel robo jets from nintendo prime and today that was the news I had for you this morning. Catch you in the next video.